Hello, I'm here on Shade Street, McDonald's, and there's a lovely lady busker behind me, Bethany, I think she goes by. Walking in and around the city centre again. One can see how our treasured city centre is losing its unique Scout's character and identity. That's what's happening, ladies and gentlemen. You see, for our city centre to remain a Scouse city centre, in the true sense of the word, it must maintain its unique Scouse character and identity. You see, once new arrivals start coming into the city in large numbers, different ways, beliefs, values, customs, traditions, then that unique character and identity changes. That's there for all to see. It's not rocket science, that. That's obvious. That's what happens, right? We see this now happening in our cherished, wonderful city centre. As well as our city in general, we see that change underway. It is there for all to see. Our city centre is losing its unique Scouse character and identity. You see, it's not about just I'm going to put it, bear with me. You see, more and more new arrivals, like I've said, different ways, customs, traditions. They can't indefinitely come into our city and expect that unique Scouse balance to be maintained. It won't be, it isn't. One can see what's happening now all around us. So you can see what is happening. Our unique city centre is being changed. Now other city centres across the country, other towns and cities, these towns and city centres were changed. They lost their unique individuality, their unique character, right? They lost it because too many new arrivals came into their city changing centuries old customs and traditions character identity they changed it and they have now lost that special uniqueness that one in a million that we now see losing in our glorious city it's not joe owens making this up it's not joe owens being unfair to anyone it's real and present. This is just a small section of the city centre and one can see here what is happening. And unless it's stopped, ladies and gentlemen, the change will continue until our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity are changed forever. Never ever to be restored back to their originality, their former glory, gone. We cannot allow that to happen. That is just it's unthinkable, right? Our city centre as well, like I've mentioned before, it's a place all young kids, teenagers want to venture into. They're excited. They want to experience the latest entertainment, restaurants, club, bar, whatever, uh, clothes shop. And we want them to come and feel at home a place that's warm and comfortable a place they identify as their scouse city center sadly this is now changing it's changing all around it's not joe owens making this up it's not joe owens unfairly having a go at anyone in fact the complete opposite those new arrivals who have embraced the Scouse fam, all our ways, beliefs, values, standards, customs, traditions, good on you. 
you now, now need to join with Joe Owens and the many, many thousands of people in this city I know are opposed to cultural change. You now need to oppose it yourself. You need to be part of something special, something unique, not something that's changed, right? That is not a unique city centre or city you've moved into as well as the city centre. Where you've moved into as being unique, is unique, is unique and special. You want that to maintain, so you're part of something unique and special. Changing it, that originality goes, it's somewhere else, somewhere completely different. It's no longer the home of the Beatles in the true sense of the word. You see where I'm coming from. So therefore, I call upon all the new arrivals to voice their opposition to further cultural change that we see changing our city and in particular our city centre. Because like I've said, you've come here and you're part of something special. Let's not ruin it, let's not change it. Let's all oppose further cultural change. No to cultural change, yes to Scouse Pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and Proud. Okay, thank you. Hello, I'm still here on Churchy, McDonald's End with the Lady Busket in the background. If anyone uh, wonders why I'm standing here, right, doing a video with a loud busket in the background, if I move further up Churchy, there's a religious activist with a microphone. If I go further up, there's other buskers. So it's out of my control, ladies and gentlemen. Right, I either don't do a video or move somewhere else. Well, that's not happening, right? Even just this short break, uh, I'm walking up and down Churchy. The cultural change is all around. It really is amazing how fast this is happening. And like I've said, where's our city and city centre going to be in five to ten years' time? Which, in the big scheme of things, isn't a long time. Right, it's not a long time in the big scheme of things. I think the religious activist with the microphone's gone, so I'll walk back up Church Street. So, as I said, five to ten years from now, in the big scheme of things, is nothing. And so, where is our city centre going to be in five to ten years? At the rate cultural change is sweeping across our glorious city and changing it. It's going to change our unique Scouse character traditions and cultural identity. The city will never be the same again. Like I've said, we cannot allow that to happen, right? We just can't. This is our city. This is our city centre. It belongs to our children, grandchildren and all those amazing Scousies yet to be born. Remember, no to cultural change, yes to Scouse Pride. Shout it out loud, Scouse and Proud. Okay, thank you.